Welcome to the Consciousness Anywhere and Everywhere podcast. I am Shannon O'Hara and I invite you to a completely new world of possibilities. Hello everybody out there. Thank you for popping on and this is going to be on being. So I actually had to do a bit of studying and research for this because I, uh, Perceiving and knowing are ones that I knew how to talk about. And when we start to get into being and receiving, we're entering into a non-cognitive or a non-linear or non-intellectual um, universe. So, you know, it's like one of the tricky things with being and with perceiving is that there isn't a vocabulary for them and they don't exist within a defined reality. Um that being said, they can often be disregarded because they can't be defined or understood, yet they are some of this, the greatest superpowers we have available to us. So being, like I st- have stated in the previous on knowing and perceiving. Perceiving, knowing, being, and receiving all go together, meaning you can't have one increase without the others also increasing. You can't have all of them work if one of the areas is blocked or stuck for you or shut down. So they all work together. The more you be, the more you know. The more you know, the more you perceive. The more you perceive, the more you receive. The more you receive, the more you be. So everything that doesn't allow you to perceive, know, be, and receive will you destroy and uncreate, please. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pud, puck, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Okay, so I actually had to take some notes because I had to do I had to do quite a bit of reading of reference materials and I got out my foundation manual and I was like, what did my dad say about being? And what what can we talk about being that isn't this nonverbal thing? Because so much of being from my perspective and in my own personal experience has been a nonverbal reality. Um, meaning the trees be, the ocean bees powerful. It's like, it's stuff where I have seen and identified being in the world has not really necessarily been with people. It's been with organisms like trees, like the earth that don't talk in the vocabulary that we use, but they do communicate with energy and awareness and things we don't have words for. So being, okay. Um, so I looked up and I, I looked up, um, I think in the most current foundation manual, there's a section on being, and Gary says, being is having infinite choice and infinite possibility and choosing everything you desire. So being is having infinite choice. Um, one of the cool things about being is I remember years ago uh, when I was really working on my money reality, um, Gary asked a question or I heard him ask a question that was like, what would you have to be to have total ease with money or to be a millionaire or to be a billionaire? And it was that looking at what I'd have to be that really helped me transition into that as a reality. Because if you're not willing to be something, you can't have it and you can't choose it. So if you're, if you're looking at money, for example, just we'll use money as an example if you're, if you're looking at changing your financial situation, you have to look at what are you being already with money that's creating the present financial situation you're having. Are you being penurious? Are you being judgmental? Are you being cranky? Are you being uh, somebody else with money? What are you being? And then what is it that people that have ease, peace, joy um, with money, what are people being that have a lot of money? What is it that they're being? that you aren't being yet and what must you be uh, to have the financial reality that works for you. And I'm just using that as an example. Obviously being has to do with so much more than money, but it is a vital building block for creating our realities and what we'd like to choose. So you look at any area of your life, whether it's in relationship or with your body, um, your level of enthusiasm, your inspiration for living, your consciousness, what energy, space, and consciousness can you and your body be, 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 to shift, change, and transform all energies with ease and everything that doesn't allow that. Will you guys destroy and create it? Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pod, puck, shorts, boys and beyonds. 
being is so strong and so under acknowledged. So if you're listening to this now, um, whenever you are listening to this or watching this in the future, this is a conversation on being. One of the most undervalued, definitely underutilized resources from my perspective on the planet and something that you cannot understand, you can only be. And are you willing, do you value something that you cannot understand and that you could only be? So all of the wealth, value, and treasure of being that you lose or that you sacrifice for your mind, brain on create, please. Ah, oh, thank you. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine pud puck shirts, boys and neons. This just could be an interesting question for you to start to look at. What percentage of what percent are you being in your life? So if you look at your life, what percentage are you judging? What percentage are you choosing? What percentage are you being? What percentage are you happy? What percentage are you being? Is it more or less than 1%? And what if you were being you 100%? And everything that doesn't allow that and everything that makes that a non-reality or an impossibility, will you guys destroy it and create it, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine. Pod, puck, shirts, boys and beyonds. What strengthens being? And what erodes or eliminates? being. So what erodes being? Judgment. Judgment is a being killer. Judgment is a being killer. Thinking is a being killer. Remember, thinking is the lower harmonic of knowing. So when you're in the lower harmonic of knowing or perceiving, you're going to be eroding all the perceiving, knowing, being, and receiving. So what erodes being and you have to start to look at, it's like, are you, do you honor your being with the choices that you make, with the way that you think, or are you dishonoring of your being? And are you valuing being on a whole, or is being something that you ignore or don't choose? Um, something else I read in one of the resources I was looking at this morning before this was, uh, Gary talks about how most people have to prove that they're being. So if you're ever proving that you're being, or if you ever feel that you need to prove yourself in any way, that's an indication that you're not being in that area. If you ever feel that you need to prove yourself in any way, or you're not getting acknowledged enough, or you're not getting validated enough, or there, you, there's some sort of way that you need to prove something to someone, including yourself, that means that you're not being in that area. So that could be a rule of thumb um, for you guys to recognize. Um, <laughs> what being are you refusing with the problems that you're choosing? What being are you refusing with the problems that you're choosing? So what if the problems that you have are a way of avoiding being? And I think that's a very simple question that leads to an extremely profound possibility. Do you want to be or do you want to think? Is being interesting or is being boring to you? So everything that that is and everywhere that you just determined, decided or chose or concluded or judged or bought that being was boring, will you guys destroy it and create it? wrong good bad all nine pop pop shirts boys and neons and if you were being you what would that be and everything that doesn't allow you to perceive no be and receive that will you just run and create it right and wrong good and bad all nine pop pop shirts boys and beyonds if you were being you what would you choose and if you were being you what would you be capable of and everything that doesn't allow you to perceive no be and receive that will you just run and create it Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine pod puck shorts, boys and beyonds. Okay, so being is an essential cornerstone or building block for greatness. 
and definitely for consciousness. If you are not being, is that fun or is that like a form of torture? So everywhere that you have subjected yourself to the torture of no being. Oh, wow. Will you guys destroy and uncreate all this, please? Wow. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pub, puck, shorts, boys and beyonds. Oof. Wow. Whose no being are you using to torture you with? All that this is, will you guys destroy and uncreate it, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pub, puck, shorts, boys and beyonds. What no being have you been torturing you with? And everything that that is, you guys, to strain and create it. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pun, puck, shorts, boys and beyonds. So what are some of the qualities of being? Space. <laughs> and for me, peace. Now, I can't speak to being on a whole for everybody. And it's also very difficult to speak to being at all unless it's in relationship to other things like being you or being happy. Um, Because being is so purely simple that we we can miss it or want to over season it uh, to make it more digestible to the mind. Um, Like, for example, if I say being, is that something that you can have without relating it to other things? Or do you prefer to hear it? with being you or being bad or being good or being happy. So being, if being, if you, if being was just its pure ingredient, what could you choose? And what would being be? And what is possible if you're willing to be? What must you be willing to be to have to choose the things that you say you'd like to have and choose, what would you have to be willing to be? What are some of the things that you've been wanting to create or change in your lives? Pick something right now that you have been wanting to change in your life, whether it's money, family, relationship, body stuff, whatever. Pick something that you've been wanting to change. Now, what would you have to be for that to change? And are you willing to be that? And that's the big dynamic question. And that's, the, that's a big dynamic question. Are you willing to be that? I was, um, you know, years ago, I, um, I use money a lot for this example, but I guess it's the easier one. I'll do the easy one and then I'll do a harder one. Um, I, if any of you guys have done stuff with me you've probably heard like in my 20s I was in a huge debt da, 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 da. I really wanted to change that I really didn't like being in financial difficulty and so I started really digging myself out of that and looking at what do I what am I going to have to be to have money period because at the point in my 20s I had no money I had debt I was in debt all the time um, and that had become my sort of benchmark and comfort zone was debt and so having money was sort of this non-reality to me um, and it was also an uncomfortable reality because I was so familiar with debt as my financial reality. So I started looking at, okay, so what am I going to have to be to have money or to have more ease with money? Those were sort of my two questions. Like more ease with money was pretty big for me. Um, and I started getting, when I would ask that question, I would start perceiving, perceiving these qualities of energy. And I didn't have a way of defining it or necessarily uh, verbalizing it, but I could perceive those energies. And so I basically worked on those energies and I didn't realize at the time, but what those energies were, were hugely about being and receiving. They were big energies of receiving. And so I... I energetically transformed myself into something different through choice and the questions. And if you guys um, listen to the podcast I did, I talk about the elements of true creation, question, choice, possibility, and contribution. So you ask the question, what would I have, what could I be and what would I have to be to have ease with money or to have money? (laughs) What would I have to be? Question. Ah, I perceived the energy. Then I had to choose those energies. 
I did literally choose those energies. And how much do you guys avoid energetic choice or energetic create creation or creativity because your mind can't define it, control it, and understand it? So everywhere you have been eliminating the energies that will amass into being everything that you would like to be, will you destroy and uncreate any and all of that now, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pot, pot, shorts, boys and beyonds, okay? And so being is an essential tool, resource, building block that has to be present if in any creation and in all choice. So if you desire to create an amazing relationship, what would I have to be to have a relationship that's better than I can even imagine? Or what would I have to perceive to be and receive to have relationships that go beyond this reality's mediocrity and everything that doesn't allow that to strain and create it? Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pud, puck, shorts, boys and beyonds. Okay, so cool. So I have some other processes that I've dug out for you guys. Um, what, <laughs> what have you made so vital, valuable, and real about the intellect and, and the speaking and thinking capacity of mankind that keeps you from being? And everything that that is for you guys to strain and create it, please. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pud, puck, shorts, boys and beyonds. So what have you made so vital, valuable, and real about the intellect and the speaking and thinking capacity of mankind that keeps you from being? And everything that that is, you guys strain and create it, right? Monka, battle, nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, and minutes. Is being valuable to you? Is being valuable to you? Is being worth it? Or is the speaking and the intellect more valuable to you. And everywhere you have invalidated your being through speaking <laughs> and thinking, will you revoke, recant, reset, renounce, denounce, destroy, and create all that, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pud, puck, shorts, boys, and beyonds. How many capacities of being are you refusing to live the life of the human you are choosing? everything that that is you guys to strain and create a place right and wrong good and bad all nine pud pock shirts boys and beyonds wow 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 woo, woo you guys how many capacities of being are you refusing to live the life of the human you are choosing everything that is for you guys to strain and create a place Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pud, puck, shorts, boys, and hands. How many capacities of being are you refusing to live the life of the human you are choosing? Ooh, guys. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Everything that that is. Will you destroy it and create it, please? Ooh, right and wrong, good, bad, all nine, pud, puck, shorts, boys, and beyonds. How many capacities of being are you refusing to live the life of the human you are choosing? Everything that that is, you guys destroy it and create it. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pud, puck, shorts, boys, pants. One more time. How many capacities of being are you refusing to live the life of the human you are choosing? And everything that that is, you guys just try and create a place. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pud, puck, shorts, boys, meons. Humans do not be. Everything else on earth does. Humanoids be, the trees be, the whales be, the universe. Everything but humans. So what capacity of being are you refusing to live the life of the human you are choosing? And will you just try and create all that, please? Thank you. Right and wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, puck, shorts, boys, me on Everywhere you decided that being human was greater, more interesting, more valuable, more seductive, more real, more real, more real, more real than infinite being. Will you revoke, recant, or send, renounce, renounce, destroy, and create all of that now, please? Oh, guys, wow. <sighs> right, one, good battle, nine, pud, puck, shorts, boys, and beyonds. What problem are you using to invil invalidate the infinite being you could be choosing? And everything that that is, will you all revoke, recant, or send, renounce, renounce, destroy, and create it? <sighs> right, one, good battle, nine, pud, puck, shorts, boys, and beyonds. 
So everywhere you're not willing to be that which change and tra- changes and transforms all realities for everyone with ease. Will you destroy and create all this, please? Wow. Thank you. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pod, puck, shorts, boys and beyonds. <sighs> Guys, big time. What problem are you using to invalidate the infinite being you could be choosing? And everything that that is, we all just turn and create a please. Wait, wrong, go battle, nine, pud, puck, shorts, boys, again. So just to pull this apart a little bit more, what if all your problems, so think about all your problems right now. Now, what if all of those are a way of proving and invalidating infinite being. So do you have a greater sense of, do you, in your life, do you have a greater sense of infinite being or a greater sense of problem and limitation? Depending on which percentage or which ratio you lean more towards, that's what you believe is more real and true. Is your life showing up as the infinite being you truly be or is your life showing up as the limitation and the problem you decided it needs to be? to fit in or to be normal or to feel normal. And everywhere you're unwilling to perceive, no be and receive the brutal honesty of that reality. We destroy it and create it, right? Rugged metal, night, pet, pet, shorts, boys, beyonds. And what energy, space, and consciousness can you and your body be to access infinite possibility with ease? And everything that doesn't allow that, destroy and create it, please. Right, wrong, good, about all nine, pet, pet, shorts, boys, beyonds. Okay, I've got one more mega process. Well, actually, I've got a lot of mega processes here, but we've just done a bunch of them. So how many thoughts, feelings, emotions, points of view, and judgments are you using to avoid the being you could be choosing? And everything with that is we all destroy and create it, please. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, and beyonds. I'm going to give that one a second to unwind. How many thoughts, feelings, emotions, points of view, and judgments are you using to avoid the being you could be choosing? Everything that that is, will you guys just try and create a please? Wow, thank you. Right, monk, and about all nine pod, puck, shorts, boys, and beyonds. One more time. How many thoughts, feelings, emotions, points of view, and judgments are you using to avoid the being you could be choosing? And everything that that is, you guys just try and create a please. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pud, puck, shorts, boys, mans. If you could only be you, would that be enough? What was the answer you got immediately in your head? If you could only be you, would that be enough? Okay, if you got a no, that means that you do not value being. And it might not be that you don't value being. It might be that you have just grown up in a reality that doesn't value being. And that's true for most of us. And so you have to start to look at, is being something that you value? It's like, I treasure my time out in nature because nature is such a source of being that I need that to feel better. I need to be around that, that source of being to have any kind of joy or peace in my life. And so is being, is being, a, what is being a source of? What is being? a source of, and everything that doesn't allow you to perceive, no be and receive that, will you destroy it and create it, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pod, puck, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Okay, and to finish us off with another power process, what being are you capable of being that you are refusing to be, that if you would be it, would create everything you desire for the earth with total ease? Everything that doesn't allow that, we destroy and create a place. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine pud puck shirts, boys and beyonds. What being are you capable of being that you are refusing to be that if you would be it would create everything you desire on the earth with total ease? And everything that doesn't allow that, destroy and create a place. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine pud puck shirts, boys and beyonds. You cannot think and be at the same time. You cannot head indulge and mind trip and control with your thoughts and be at the same time. You can't. 
And so if you want to strengthen being or access greater being, you're going to have to recognize that being is paramount to thinking, to judging, to your mind, and to your emotions. What are you unwilling to be that if you were willing to be it would give you greater access to infinite possibility? And everything that doesn't allow that, destroy it and create it. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, and beyonds. And are you, do you, do you trust infinite possibility? Do you believe in infinite possibility? Are you willing to know infinite possibility, perceive it, and be it? I double dog, triple godzillion, million, billion dare you. So thank you here for being all of you. This actually went a lot better than I thought it was going to go. I was like, being, how are we going to talk about being? Uh, being is such a tricky one to talk about because you can't think and be. So hopefully these processes were dynamic for you guys. Run them. Be you. Be. I dare you to find out what's possible. Bye, guys. Thank you for listening to this show. My target is to make consciousness easy to find and choose. So if you enjoyed this podcast, please leave a five-star review on iTunes and share this with somebody who you know who might be looking for more consciousness in their life. You can visit me on shannon-ohara.com or talktotheentities.com. And to learn more about the amazing tools of Access Consciousness, you can visit accessconsciousness.com and be sure to subscribe to the podcast. Thank you.